kind of sad right now. I want a big butt. Where's my big butt? I don't have it. Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I will be doing the 25 day Chloe Ting Hourglass Challenge. Now this challenge was really difficult, but I'll just let the video explain for itself, so let's just get to the footage. Hey guys, it's Michaela, and excuse me for how I look, I'm about to work out. I decided I wanted to try the Chloe Ting Hourglass Workout Challenge, the 25 day challenge, and right now it's day one, so I'm going to show you my measurements. So I just drew out a little plan here, just 25 days, and I just wrote down like rest and how much time I need to commit, and then I'll put my starting measurements and my end ending measurements right there. I gotta do this quick because my camera's about to die. This is really bad timing because I literally just ate half a pizza and a bag of Doritos, but it's whatever. I'll just measure myself now for my bloated body. So this is what I look like. Not not sucked in anything it's like just ate half the pizza yeah I don't really have much of a butt either right here I'm not sucking in I'd say 27 and a half I want to do around my butt so that is 36 and three quarters yeah not much there and I guess I can do my hips here which is 34 inches okay so now I have a scale below me I'm gonna weigh myself 24.7 pounds right now. My goal is to get down to 120, and if I don't lose anything, I just want to look more toned and gain muscle and lose fat. Okay, so I just finished the first video, and usually when I work out, I don't sweat, even if it's like workout classes, but this one made me sweat. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I don't have AC in my room or something, but it was really hard. And I actually really like it. I feel really good. It wasn't like too hard where I had to stop any time, but it was really good. I also realized when I was showing my physique, you couldn't really tell because I was wearing loose shorts. So I put on these shorts and, uh, yep. That's what I look like right now. It's not the worst body, but I'd like to tone it down, you know? So yeah, I still have rolls when I sit down and stuff like, yeah. So it is day two and yesterday I didn't really catch up with you because my camera was dying while I was working out So I couldn't really record much I feel like everything I was saying was rushed because I could see the low battery flashing on my camera But yesterday the first workout was it was a tiny waist round butt workout and the abs in two weeks workout The tiny waist round butt one wasn't that bad on my body I feel like but once I started doing the abs I was like, oh my god, this is so hard That, that was when I really started sweating. And I could really feel it It was just really intense, but I felt really good after it wasn't like I was exhausted after the workout I noticed that waking up and like going to bed last night, the part that I was the most sore in was my glutes. But when I was working out, the part that I felt the most workout in was my stomach or my abs. So I found that interesting because I thought I would be more sore in my abs than my glutes, but I was more sore in my glutes. So let's just get started on day two. just finished the workout for today for day two and it was three videos it was only 35 minutes but it felt like literally forever i had to take a couple breaks here and there because i was just so exhausted and my body was like i can't anymore it burned so bad today which it feels good now because the burn feels good but it, like during the burn it was not pleasant it was a lot harder today than it was yesterday but i'm just glad that tomorrow's a rest day to be honest in the abs video i had to skip a couple workouts because like the um jumping jack planks were just really painful on my arms and i was like my week arms cannot do this but other than that all the other workouts were pretty good hopefully it gets a little bit easier from here today was pretty rough compared to yesterday okay so i forgot to say this but i just wanted to add it but today's workout was probably difficult because literally right before the chloe ting's workout i went on a four mile walk slash jog so i was already tired from that and then i did that workout and yeah now i'm just exhausted and i want dinner hey guys so <sighs> Hey guys, it's day four and I just finished the three videos for today and I'm so hot. While I was working out, I was working on my sports bra and my shorts. I have my window open and I have my fan going also. It's, the weather's been getting warmer here so it's like harder to work out I guess because it's like so hot outside. If i feeling good, I had to take a long break in between um, the second video and the third video because I had a meeting for one of the clubs at my school that I forgot about and I had to attend that and that took like an hour so I had a break in between but I got everything done. Tomorrow I have two exercises, abs and two weeks and then love handles abs workout yeah excited for tomorrow hey guys so it's day five and i'm about to do the workout honestly i haven't been eating the healthiest the past three days uh i don't really have any excuse for that other than i like food and before the workouts i've been watching what i've been eating but lately i've just been super hungry especially with like now it's like the time of the month so 
I'm just eating whatever I want and obviously in moderation but I've just kind of been eating so I'm satisfied. So yeah, so I do the workout now. I just wanted to update you guys and just kind of be honest about where I'm at. Hey guys, that's day six and I just finished my workout. Today felt really good. Starting the workout, I didn't feel too tired, which was really nice. And um, I did the whole workout of all three videos without stopping and pausing for a long time at all. I just followed her throughout the whole session and it, was, it wasn't too difficult. Today, it was mostly focused on glutes. So I think that was why and it wasn't so much abs like yesterday it just absolutely killed me. I'm feeling really good. I think my forms are getting a lot better. It's not as difficult as it was on day one first few days. So yeah, I'm excited for the rest of the challenge. Tomorrow's workout is optional and it's only 10 minutes. I probably will be doing that because it's only like 10 minutes or so, so. Hey friends, so it's day eight today and yesterday I didn't end up finishing my workout. I like stopped like two minutes in because I was just so exhausted from the day. And then it was a good thing that yesterday was the rest day and it was optional because I just took that chance to rest my body today. I'm feeling really good. I'm about to do my workout. I just finished dinner. Probably gonna digest for a bit and then just get started my workout. So that's how I'm feeling. This, today's workout is a 35 minute one, so I don't know how well I'm gonna do it, but yeah, because I ate a lot and hopefully I'll be okay. So I just finished the workout. Sorry for the crusty. It's a little bit of a hard workout. It was mostly on glutes today and I lied. It was 25 minutes, not 35 minutes. Tomorrow is actually 35 minutes. So yeah, I actually felt really good today. It was just glute stuff, it wasn't really ab stuff. I kind of wanted to do more abs, but mostly glutes. I'll probably do some ab stuff on my own right now. Sorry for the noise, my AC's on. I just finished today's workout. Yesterday was day nine and it was supposed to be today's workout and today day 10 was supposed to be a rest day, but yesterday I was just really not feeling the workout. So I only did one video yesterday and I didn't really count it. So I did everything again today. I did the whole workout today. Today it felt a lot better because yesterday I was really tired for some reason. So also probably because it's that time of the month and now it's like almost over. So I have more energy and stuff like that. I'm excited for day 11 tomorrow. Hey guys, it's day 11 and I just finished my workout. Today was four videos, which is the most I've done so far out of the whole challenge. Today was 45 minutes, which is also the first long one. The longest one I had before was like 35 minutes, 25 minutes probably. Today wasn't that bad though. It was mostly like glutes and then one ab video, which I really liked because glute videos aren't as hard on my body as the ab ones are. <laughs> I don't know if that's for anyone else, but that's what it feels for me. And I really enjoyed today. I had a lot of energy, so it wasn't too hard to do like it was like the past few days. So I'm glad I'm like getting back into it. And yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow. Hey guys, so I just finished the first video of day 12 and there are three videos for today. I'm just really not feeling doing the other two videos. So I'm gonna take a break for now. And it's already like 11 at night. So I don't know if I'm gonna do the rest. Tomorrow's supposed to be a rest day, so I might do the rest of the workouts tomorrow. Just depends on how I'm feeling. I'm just really not feeling it tonight. I'm really tired now. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. I'm pretty much halfway through with the challenge. And it's getting really hard and long. Like I really don't wanna do the workouts anymore, but I really wanna finish this challenge. So I hope I can do this. Ryan Little. <laughs> Hey guys, I just finished day 14 and today was yet again another glute day. The workout wasn't that bad so I was able to finish it pretty easily. After two weeks of this challenge, I'm pretty sure that the abs workouts are the ones that kill me and make me not want to work out anymore and the glute ones are pretty much fine. I don't know what it is but the ab ones just make me more tired probably because I'm not used to working out my ab area. But yeah feeling good today. Hey, so it's day 16 and yesterday I accidentally skipped my workout because I spent the whole day filming and editing a video. And I kind of just got distracted the whole day and didn't end up working out. So right now I want to do yesterday's workout for day 15 and hopefully tonight I'll be able to do day 16 because it's just pretty much glutes. So it'll be like a 55 minute workout total just split up into two sections. So let's see if I can do this. Maybe we'll be okay. I know that you're coming back home. and today was just a quick 10 minute workout and I just finished it so yeah I'm feeling good hey guys I just finished day 18 and today was pretty difficult because I had a pretty long day just before the workout and I started the workout with a headache but finished it and I did all four videos so I'm pretty proud of myself and tomorrow's a rest day which I'm really happy about so on to day 20 I guess Day 20 is here and has passed. I just finished my three workouts and for some reason in between each workout my glutes were really feeling it. You know when you're like working on a muscle or something or you like hit something and it like feels like it's throbbing like you can feel your heartbeat in it? My butt felt like that. Like I felt like my butt was like throbbing. I could feel my heartbeat in it which was the weirdest thing but I guess it means my butt's growing. I really hope so. I'm really sweaty. I actually really enjoy the glute days so after the challenge is over I'm probably gonna continue the glute workouts but yeah I'm excited for day 21 tomorrow. Day 21 is done and I'm so 
annoyed of the music in her videos. I can't stand the intro because it's always the same like loud music. And then throughout the workout, the music isn't as bad because I'm not really like focused on it. I'm just kind of like focusing on my form. And during my breaks, I can't stand the music. I mean, I've dealt with it for 21 days and haven't gotten annoyed with it until today. So that's good. I only have four more days left. Today is day 23 and I just finished my workout. It was a 50 minute one and it wasn't that bad because it was mostly glutes, but yeah. I'm sweaty. Day 24 and I just finished my workout. Let's just go to day 25, the last day, and we'll be done with the challenge. Hey guys, it's day 25 and I just finished my workout. Honestly, they got easier over time, but I'm really glad today's the last day. The last few days were a really hard push to get through, but not the challenge. day and today I will be measuring my body to see if it changed at all. I am not expecting much to be honest. When I first did the challenge I was wearing this so I just decided to wear it again. I like lower my camera. Okay so this is like my physique. I'm not sucking in. I guess I see a little bit of like 11 line abs but, which is really good. So let's just measure what it looks like. So before the challenge at my here at my waist here I was 27.5 and I'm pretty sure I also gained weight from because I was eating more because I was working out more. Oh I'm down to 26. So I'm down to 26 inches which is, I'm genuinely surprised about. I didn't expect that to be honest it looks like an inch and a half. Let's see if I suck in see if it makes a difference. Yeah when I suck in I'm like a 25 which I wear 25 in pants. My stomach day one and today not sucking in again a little less than 28.5 inches genuinely surprised again and then my hips slash butt day one was 36.75 36.5 did my butt get smaller like I'm <laughs> That's kind of embarrassing I'm really sad I felt like my butt got like the most workout out of everything I'm like kind of sad right now I want a big butt where's my big butt Okay, and then now I'm gonna go weigh myself. But I guess I matched day one because I had half a pizza that day. Again, I'm expecting that I gained weight. So it wouldn't be a surprise to me if I was like 130 or something. Ugh. Oh my god, what? I lost weight. It says 123. I wonder what my weight is like actually like when I'm not super like full and bloated with food. I filmed this stuff at the worst time. Like I think ahead, but like I, I don't know. It's just my brain. My, my one brain cell is just not working right for some reason. Here's my physique in the mirror. See like right now I'm flexing and it like kind you can kind of see it I feel like I feel like I definitely look more toned I don't know if there's like more of an hourglass or anything I don't really see it I feel like I look bloated and like bleh. so not much butt still kind of sad Whew, I'm glad we got that done Honestly, I'm really proud of myself for completing a challenge that I didn't think I was going to be able to complete. Like, there were so many days where I was just like, I really don't want to do this. It's already, like, midnight, and I just don't want to do it. But I got myself to do it, and I'm really proud of myself for it. Thank you, Michaela. Good job. Good job. It paid off a little bit. Okay, so I want to talk about a couple things I did throughout this challenge that I think helped me lose some weight and also get a smaller waist. So every day, due to the quarantine situation, I've been intermittent fasting and it's not like I've been doing it on purpose. It's just the times I've been eating, it just happens to be that way. So every day I would wake up at like 12 to 1 p.m. or sometimes 2 p.m., which is really bad, I know, but like that's just how it works. And I wake up, I go downstairs, I have the same thing every day. I have a smoothie bowl that I make for myself and it's just frozen bananas, frozen strawberries, almond butter, blend it up, and that's it. No sugar, no anything. Sometimes I add water if it's too hard to blend. And then on top, I have the Nature Valley Protein Granola, which is so good. I have some more almond butter on top because I just love almond butter. Like, I've literally gone through five jars in, like, the past two weeks. And then sometimes I also top it with some more banana slices, but if I, we don't have any more bananas, then I just have it with the granola and the almond butter. And I also have a glass of water on the side as well because sometimes it's a little bit too sweet for me, so I just have water on the side just to cleanse my palate and then for dinner i kind of just have whatever my mom makes or whatever's around a lot of the time i had vietnamese food like fried rice my mom makes a lot of seafood we had noodles with beef stir fried just asian cuisines like that we had a lot of that so i feel like my diet during this not my diet i didn't diet but like what i ate really helped me get these results I think it could have been the protein that helped the abs show or something or I don't even know but so I'm doing something wrong with my glutes because they like shrink 
on top of every day's workout, including on the rest days, I would do a set of 200, or not a set, I would do 200 sit-ups just on my own. It doesn't matter if it was a rest day, a workout day, a big workout day, a short workout day. I do it every day, and I did this before. I did the Chloe Ting challenge, and it did help me with my digestion a lot. Okay, so overall, I'm pretty proud of myself. I'm pretty happy with my results. I honestly did not expect this to happen, and I will probably continue to do some of her workouts, probably not as often as I was with the challenge, because that was really difficult. I feel like most of the challenge was just getting over the mental block of it, not like the physical part of it, because I feel like most of it was very doable. It was just the mental block was really killer. I do recommend this for anyone who doesn't have a gym in their house or just isn't able to go outside on runs or something like that. I did every workout in my bedroom at nighttime or just like in the afternoon when I had free time, and it was really easy to do and really convenient for me. A third thing I would like to mention is that I did not use any resistance bands during these workouts. I feel like that really showed because my glutes did not get any more volume, which I feel like is my fault for not having the resistance bands. I do have resistance bands downstairs with my college stuff. I was just too lazy to get it. You know, I'm feeling it. It's not like it isn't working my glutes. I must be doing something right. I feel like if you have resistance bands, definitely use them because the results will be a lot more significant than what I had. And that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want more. Please let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see from me in the future down in the description. Or not down in the description. Down in the comments. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!